In this video, you're gonna see all the mistakes you shouldn't make on your first mini conversion. I'm Dave, and this is my first mini conversion ever. I'm 50-50 excited and nervous about it, but I'm gonna give it a go and show you guys how I go with it and uh, hopefully inspire you to give it a go yourself. I wanna do something a bit lighthearted because uh, this year has been such a doozy. So I decided to turn one of my skeleton warriors into a party skeleton. Specifically, I wanna turn him into Skrillex, the party skeleton. Yeah, the uh, doof doof Skrillex. So pretty keen for that. I'm curious to hear what your first conversion is gonna be. Um, just write them in the comments down below and I uh, hope to steal all the good ones for my future videos. I started off with a bit of research using our good friend, Mr. Google. Skrillex's standout feature to me is his long straight hair, which contrasts against the shaved side of his head. So I'm going to really highlight that in my conversion. As you'll see soon enough, I didn't really research how to do conversions, so you guys are already way ahead of me just by watching this video. First up, I'm going to cut off his sword and shield as Skrillex the party skeleton has no need for them. He would have ended up neater if I took a bit more care with the cuts and also if I used a hobby knife. That would have been a little bit smarter. Some of you sharp-eyed individuals would have also noticed he is already painted, which I very much don't recommend. But he was the mini I wanted to convert, so I just went with it and did what I could without damaging the existing paint job. This is where I ran into my first snag. Originally, I was going to turn his left arm over and make it look like his shield was a turntable he was jockeying. However, once I got to this point, I realized I didn't actually have the skill to do that, so I had to change tack. I decided it would be more achievable for me to make his left arm point up in the air, so he is doing a fist pump with both arms. Once I had decided on the change, I got underway with cutting the shield off his left arm. This was definitely not a good idea. I should have instead found a left arm from one of my other skeletons to use instead. I had to get pretty medieval on him just to make his arm look sort of okay and not like was in a massive plaster cast. His left arm was also longer than his right arm, so even though I cut it at the elbow originally, I still had to shorten his forearm a bit for it to match. Now to the fun stuff, the best stuff, that's right, the green stuff. I'm keeping it simple as I'm just making a little ball of it and that is going to be his new elbow. It seems hard to make a ball of green stuff small enough, so once it's attached, it doesn't become a massive blob. I didn't really succeed here as it is still a massive blob. So I wanna know from you guys, what should I have done differently? Should I have used uh, less green stuff or used something like super glue instead to put his elbow back together? Next step is to make sure I achieve that classic Skrillex shaved side of his head look. I really wanted to sell this look, so I went pretty ham with some files to really flatten down the side of his face. His head is looking pretty cool now, except in my excitement, I goofed up his shoulder armor quite a bit. The final construction step was to make his toupee, so back again to the green stuff. As you can see, I freestyled this with my fingers. I was just trying to make a thin piece I could place down on top of his head. My first attempt didn't work so well since it stuck to my fingers and he looked like he'd just been struck by lightning. I eventually got it flattened out and resembling Skrillex's long straight hair. I went over it at this stage with the back of my hobby knife to accentuate the strands of his hair and generally tidy everything up. Now he is looking a bit like a left-hander who's been single for quite some time, if you know what I mean. So I shaved down his left arm and elbow a bit more to even him up. I went as far as I dared to go before I thought his elbow might give out. 
I then gave him a quick paint job to blend the converted sections back into his original paint job. I used the appropriately named Skeleton Bone from Army Painter for the bone portions. Uh, at this point, I decided to change my plans again. The real Skrillex has very black hair, but I was really enjoying the green of the green stuff, so I rolled with it and kept that color. I did a quick dry brush of Witch Brew from Army Painter to highlight his hair up to a more Ibiza appropriate green to finish him off. I'm actually really happy uh, with the end result. Um, it was a pretty quick conversion job and now I uh, have my very own dancing skeleton, which I think is pretty rad looking. So how do you guys think he, he turned out? Uh, comment down below, give me um, some feedback on uh, what I could have improved. The big takeaway I hope you've had from this is just to keep your conversion plans flexible and just change them if you run into any issues or inspirations along the way and uh, just give it a go, dive in. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have, consider liking it and subscribing. Cheers.